That's misogyny, pure and simple. We carry with us, it's kind of deep in the DNA, what we expect women to be. When a woman says, wait a minute, I'd like to lead, I'd like to be in charge, I'd like to be your president or your chief executive or whatever it might be, little alarm bells, little unconscious alarm bells start to ring. Do you agree with that? No, I don't. And I think that actually she's minimizing women with those comments. You know, actually under this president, women are doing better than ever, especially with jobs. And I would say just personally at the White House, he's got so many women in leadership at the White House. Women are doing great. It is fair to say, as you just did, Nick, that certainly misogyny played a role. I mean, that just has to be admitted. And why and what the underlying reasons were is what I'm trying to parse out myself. I happened to run against a, uh, you know, an incredibly overtly sexist candidate. And Trump delighted in insulting women, in uh, trying to dominate women, in everything he said, starting in the primaries with the Republicans going into the general election. He has been uh, uh, racist, he's been sexist, he's been Islamophobic, he has been uh, anti-LGBTQ. Uh, I mean, there's a long list. It, it, I don't think it's useful to say, oh, we figured it out, this is what he is. I just don't think there's a place for sexism in our politics. And I, I just, I think we should be purging those kinds of comments and holding ourselves to a higher standard. It is real. It is uh, very much a part of the um, landscape politically and socially and economically. We are still living with a double standard and I know it. Every, every woman I know knows it, uh, whether you're in the media as a woman or you're in the professions or business or politics. Um, and I don't know anything other to do than just keep forging through it. I think the best answer for sexism in politics is more women in politics and getting more women who are out there standing up, speaking out. It's just remarkable. I mean, if you express an opinion on Twitter or on YouTube, you make a comment and people know you're a woman by maybe the name or, right. your, or your photo, they just pile on. Right. The research is pretty clear. For men, professional success and likability go hand in hand, not for women. In other words, the more successful a man becomes, the more people like him. With women, it's the exact opposite. Oh my goodness, men come in all sizes and shapes. <laughs> so do women. And it's about time we uh, saw that for what it is, just human nature and reality.